another brick fan with a Brickheads review. This is Disney's Moana and Merida. This is set 40621, was released in March 2023. It has 410 pieces and cost about $20 when it was released. This is one of several Disney Brickhead sets, I believe there's four so far, that have been released in 2023. And these are two iconic princesses or heroes from Disney. Moana has her own movie, of course, Moana, and Mirida was in the Pixar movie Brave. At first glance, these are both very recognizable. I think they did a good job at these. Let's go ahead and get them built and then take a closer look at the finished Brickheads. Here are our two princesses. I guess Moana was the daughter of the village elder, but essentially Disney princesses. And as I've come to expect with female brickheads, their hair builds are very complex, very detailed, and they both look great. Moana has like a dozen of these flower pieces kind of circling her hair there which uh, take a little while to put together, so you saw it during the builds. But let's take a close look at each of these individually. First up is Moana, and she is an island, Pacific Islander, so she has a little darker skin here. She has kind of a grass skirt down here, and she's, of course, carrying this paddle because she was a navigator for ships, an explorer, if you will. There is a really nice print here on her torso that represents, you know, a very detailed half shirt per se. And then down below, like I said, they have this grass skirt look with that is done with these triple tooth pieces here. The hair is a combination of slopes and these rounded, these half rounds, as well as some rounded tiles. Also, and the, a couple of these circular, two by two circular plates, there's a lot of those on Mirida, which you'll see here in just a minute. But I like how detailed the hair is. These little flower pieces are all individually clipped on. So like I said, there's a dozen of those that go around. Here's the back, once again, slopes, rounded tiles as well so it makes for a really nice detailed very long hair it goes all the way down to her waist it looks like the paddle or oar here is very long the grass skirt again in the back and then both sides of the hair are actually done the same looking on top there is some slopes there kind of that just have her hair all piled up on the top overall a, a very nice look for moana here is Mirida, who was, from what I could tell, a Viking princess or Nordic princess from in the movie Brave. 
Her hair is extremely complex with all kinds of, you know, the studs, the two by two rounds, the slopes, half rounds, these other ha different kind of half rounds, a quarter round plates, all quarter round and then quarter round tiles, just all kinds of little pieces in here to build up this bright orange hair. She does have a printed piece here that I think they did a pretty good job of getting the color matching pretty well. You can see the blue bleeds through a little bit, but overall, I think it's really nice. She's wearing that long dress she wore in the scene where the boys were supposed to compete for her hand, and then she, of course, brought her own bow and arrow set. I think it was clever to use this little plant piece to represent the little fletchings from the arrows in her little quiver here. Of course, she's carrying a bow over here. Once again, this is a mini figure scale bow, so it's actually too small for a brickhead. But that's been a long running complaint on my part. I don't think they're gonna change it anytime soon. They're not gonna make special molds for brickheads. But you see the very detailed, I mean, lots and lots of pieces used for this big orange hair. You know, rich, she's definitely a fiery redhead, if you will. There is this brown that goes all the way around through the nice dark blue dress. Just super detailed hair piece here for Mirida, which looks great. And this little quiver that's brick built is also kind of cool. They've done it kind of in an inverted way. So they have a cylinder piece with a tile capping that off and then goes up to this flared piece here with that plant piece to represent the arrow fletchings. Very nicely done. I think this is a really cool little brick head and captures Mirida quite well. Once again, two very nicely done brick heads that represent the characters extremely well. The prints are very nice to have. This one on Moana is quite detailed and it uh, really shows off her kind of Pacific Island heritage. Mirida is just really recognizable with this bright red or orange in this case hair just, that is just a huge build. Really nicely detailed and very texture, very, lots of great textures in that. Super well done with that as well. So the very two very great Brickhead characters are going to look fantastic on display. The value for these is great. So we have 410 pieces. So right around five cents per piece, which is an excellent value. Now keep in mind there's a ton of small pieces. And also keep in mind that Brickheads have been priced at about $10 a piece since they first came out. And these are no exception. We get two Brickheads for $20. So value is great on this set. And I think overall value, the value of Brickheads is really good regardless of how many pieces that come in these sets. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Brickhead set. I'm gonna get started on my next video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to see more of my Lego reviews. I left a link to my Disney as well as my Brickhead review playlists up here on the screen.